Today on Extreme Homes, we're heading to Fort Lauderdale, Florida to see a house that has a colorful past. Once destined to set a new world record, it later inspired a novel. And no one who ever sees it can forget it. There are so many miles of waterways in Fort Lauderdale that it's sometimes called the Venice of America. Naturally, boats of all sizes and shapes are everywhere, and many are full-time residences. Here, we'll be talking with Dave Drimmer, who got his first taste of living on the water when he rented a small houseboat. Then it was sold, and I started looking for another boat to buy that I could afford that would have been suitable for, for living aboard. And so this boat just came along one day. It was advertised for one day in the classifieds. Didn't say what it was, it just said unique houseboat for sale. So I went down and had a look at it, and of course I was shocked. And uh, it was a disaster, it looked awful, it was in severe disrepair. But uh, gosh, I was just really uh, intrigued with it. Dave thought he'd found his dream boat. Friends and family thought he'd lost his mind. And what exactly is this mysterious object of Dave's affection? My current home is the plane boat named the Cosmic Muffin. At first glance, most people have two questions. Does it sail is the first. Does it fly is the other. The answer is not so simple. You see, Dave's boat began life as a Boeing B-307 Stratoliner owned by billionaire Howard Hughes before he became a famously phobic recluse. An intrepid aviator in his younger days, Hughes bought the plane in 1939, intending to set new flying records in it. But when the onset of World War II dashed those plans, he named the plane the Flying Penthouse, furnished it accordingly, and ferried his friends in it to various hot spots. Eventually, though, Hughes sold the plane, and somehow in 1964, it wound up at an airport in Fort Lauderdale, grounded permanently due to damage from a hurricane. The owner more or less abandoned the airplane. It became a derelict that sat at the airport for four years. In 69, it was going to be destroyed as abandoned property. So a local pilot heard about its imminent demise and uh, volunteered to take the plane off the property, but it was no longer flyable or repairable, so his only practical option, apparently, was to cut the wings and tail off at the airport, sold it for scrap, took the remaining fuselage to a marina, found or built a boat hull, and put the two together. Since purchasing the boat in 1981, Dave and a friend have restored it to the glamour of its Howard Hughes days. As to the question, does it fly, well, no. But it does sail, turning heads wherever it cruises. As for that name? The Cosmic Muffin, uh, I don't know what it means. It's, it's a name that was given to the boat by Jimmy Buffett when he discovered the boat in 1992 and included it in his best-selling novel, Where's Joe Merchant? So Dave renamed the boat in honor of writer and musician Jimmy Buffett. And while there's a Buffett influence on the interior too, it's the original items that date from the boat's Howard Hughes days that are really worth noting. We'll go inside next. Mm -hmm.